Which one do y'all want? A 50. Which one? 25. Got that. Which one? How many do y'all want? I got y'all. All right, so what's good, YouTube? I'm back with another video, and I'm about to show you guys the best method on actually how to get basically every center badge that you really wanna get. This method literally works if you wanna get like finishing badges, but every single time you do what I'm about to tell you guys, you will get something toward your defense and rebounding, like that whole category. So keep that in mind. But after you get that category, you can either finish the ball or you can pass it out. Like what I'm about to tell you guys, you can literally get something towards every category and it's the best method for your center. So I'm about to tell you guys exactly how to do that. But if you guys don't feel like doing it yourself and want someone else to do it for you, hit up Goat Plugged on Instagram. Tell them I sent you and the link will be down in the description. And also, if you guys don't just play like Park and don't want to worry about your player and you also play my team, hit up this company right here. Use my discount code and tell them I sent you as well. But now that, now that I got all of that out the way, this is literally probably the simplest thing to do. Like, I mean, it's so damn simple. It'll probably take you guys... Like, obviously, badges are a grind in 2K20, but this is probably the fastest method on how to get the most amount of points. But all you really have to do, if you're a center, I'm a paint beast, all right? You can be a stretch four. This will still work for you as well. But I'm a paint beast, so obviously, I'm gonna try to, get for, I'm gonna try to go for rebounds, and then I'm also gonna try to finish the ball because I wanna get the finishing badges, and I wanna get the defense and rebounding badges. So literally, all you have to do, I'm gonna show you guys on the screen right here. Once your team gets the ball, or you can get it off a rebound, once your team gets the ball, or you get it off a rebound, call for the ball, and don't even worry about my teammate grade or none of that, because I was jacking up a bunch of shots, like, I did not give a fuck about this game, only because I literally have, like, mostly all of my badges maxed out, almost all of them, so I did not care, but I'm literally just calling for the ball, and I'm holding the ball until the shot clock runs out. Now, I recommend only holding the ball between like eight to nine seconds and then pass the ball out only because your teammate grade might go down for holding the ball too long. But hold it between like eight to nine, maybe like 10 seconds, pass it back out, call for it again. And then once the shot clock gets to about like 19 to 20 seconds, pass it back to your teammate and he's gonna jack up a BS shot. And then all you're gonna wanna do is go for the rebound. If you don't get the rebound, it's okay. You can keep doing it over and over and over. But if you're a good rebounder, all you really have to do is once you pass the ball, just run to the paint and box out and then just grab the board. And then if you wanna put the board back up, it'll go towards the finishing category. But if you wanna pass it out, it'll go towards the playmaking category if you get that assist. So it's pretty self-explanatory, like it's not hard whatsoever. I have Hall of Fame badges, I have a lot of finishing Hall of Fame badges. Well, I don't have a lot for finishing, but I do have a decent amount, but I'm still working on maxing all of it out. But it's either way, it's gonna be a grind, no matter what method it is, it's gonna be a grind. But this is probably the best way to get the most experience in the finishing category and the defensive rebounding category. And if you wanna get something towards playmaking, just go for assist. And that's literally the best method for centers. This wasn't gonna be a long video whatsoever. I don't wanna drag it on, I don't wanna do any of that. But I did wanna give you guys some knowledge. It's probably the easiest method out there right now. But just repeat this process over and over. And the worst team that you play, the better it'll be. So just keep that in mind. If you play a team that has like like two good ass centers, then you're gonna probably struggle to get rebounds. Cause keep in mind, if you put it on Hall of Fame, it's gonna be harder for you. But if you put it on Pro, then no matter who you play against, you're probably gonna get rebounds either way. But this method is so damn simple that you can literally be like a 60, 65 overall, put it on Hall of Fame, and then put it on 12 minute quarters and you'll still get rebounds. It's really damn simple. But that's all I got for you guys with this one. It wasn't going to be a long video whatsoever. So if you made it this far in the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And peace.